Wednesday, February 3rd uh, commodity rundown, part two. Uh, cocoa prices uh, possibly uh, top on here. Um, uh, historically, pretty much in the upper 60% of all time highs. Um, came up a little short on here. Uh, typically, when you jab through uh, a sideways channel like this, um, this is a weekly, so jab through a sideways channel and fail and come back through, then you usually squirt through the, the other end here. I'm going to move this out. Um, take a look at this here. Bigger picture, okay. So you can see where um, it's Coco's been in the past. Uh, let's take a quick look here. Bigger picture. Okay, as you can see, Coco back here in 70, 76, 77. Uh, spiked as high as 50, almost 55. Um, as you can see, you know, you moved up 60% plus, and even though if you want to draw a trend line, the trend is still up. You, it's waning here, so at best, you're going to get some sort of triangle. Uh, and a, between, you know, 2,000 and 3,500 is, you know, have to look at it as sideways too. Um, Stronger dollar should help out uh, chocolate imports, but I don't know how much. D judging by how much sugar Americans eat, you know, I'm not sure the cocoa consumption, but I'm, I'll look it up. Uh, chocolate is one of my favorites. Okay, going back here. Oops, page two. Okay, cocoa, here's coffee prices again we'd mentioned that um you're right out it's kind of like natural gas you're you're down to a buck 20. <laughs> i mean to a zero we did see that it did drop till uh drop to um 50 cents though back in the mid 80s so just an fyi while you're looking at risk not much of a washout or whatever here the choppiness tells uh you know they're 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 working on something here from one one hand to another set of hands here. Um, if this is a low an intermediate low in theory, if it's jab and comes back in, it should at least get to one twenty six, um, and then move up into this cloud area. But this really isn't as uh, distinct as movements like this. Basically, your, your choppiness here. So you want to, in my, I'd be down in this area. If it comes down here, I'd be a seller of naked puts to get long. Um, copper prices look like we're getting a little turn here, continuation. Um, we need a little more follow through. Like I mentioned before, the stronger dollar will make, uh, it'll all be domestic consumption, housing homes, or housing autos, uh, things of that nature. And everything that goes with cars and homes. Uh, corn, a uh, little poking above here. This is somewhat decent. If you're a uh, producer, make sure your hedge. I see bumper crops through uh, 2017. So, it, you know, lock it in. That's how I look at it. I don't see any drought or anything until after 2018. Uh, cotton prices, same thing as coffee and all the others. Agriculture's uh, basically flat basing. Uh, unleaded gasoline. I wish they'd pass it through. I pay two eleven. <laughs> That's a different story. It's seasonal. That's a, RVs. Loads of RVs. Okay, gasoline. Uh, there you go. Fill her up. Uh, gold. Same thing. We have the swing on here happening. There's still no money. Uh, no on balance volume. There, there's still no. It's still not frothy yet or whatever, what have you. You know, like here the money flow came to, or the on balance volume came down and then they rushed into it. Not much rushing going on here. Uh, we clear and weekly pivot. Um, like I said, that dollar cracks, all things being equal, uh, should continue um, higher. Heating oil, the same thing, and crude oil up to 40, 41, 42 areas, what I have on 